Hey guys, Chris here from Flipping Cars. Hope you're well. Um, well, today I'm going to head off to the BCA car auctions and we're going to have a look at the UK CGR group and it's split into six different sections. So we're going to have a look at all of those sections, see which cars are good, or which cars are bad and if they're worth buying. Also, where do these cars come from? Many of you will know that answer already, but let's head off, let's jump in the car, shoot off to one of the auction centres where there's a big UK CGR sale on today and see what they're all about. And guys, before we crack on, do me one favour, please. Hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Your support means the world to me. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. having you as a subscriber. It's totally free, so hit the subscribe button. Let's crack on. So what you do get with UK CGR is six different sale types. So you get no reserve, trade, select, premium, low mileage, and also commercial. If you've got either deep pockets, big balls, or no common sense, you're gonna love the UK CGR no reserve section. Your UK CGR no reserve stuff is exactly that. It's just the stuff they want to get rid of. It's stuff that there's absolutely no reserve on. It's going to sell no matter what bid it gets. And often they don't get many bids. They are just good for scrap. You might get a few bargains, but it's cheap, cheap stock. Your UK CGR trade stuff is the real rough stuff. It's the real stuff you're gonna take your chances on. It's gonna have engine issues, gearbox issues, other issues, it's just gonna be old. It's stuff that you can make a lot of money on. It's not gonna cost you a lot of money to buy, but you're also gonna take your biggest risks on as well. It's gonna need repair work. Do not expect to buy anything from trade that is gonna be straight away ready for retail. And then you get the really big, risky stuff. So you've got a big Range Rover here, but it's an old one. The only thing is, it says it's all okay from the assured report. But remember, it's a basic check. It does need tires. But you're taking a big old chance on a trade, a UK CGR trade Range Rover. Your UK CGR Select stuff is your 56 plate stuff and onwards, less than 130,000 miles. Better than grade five, but you can't really get much worse than grade five and they all should come with a V5 as well. So they're a good quality car to buy, especially for your retail stock. Make sure you do your pre-checks, but there are some great examples of UK CGR stock. So here's an example of a UK CGR Select and it looks really good to be honest with you as well. So it's a 2009 BMW 320i, so it's a manual petrol. It's got sensible mileage on it as well, and it's got a nice clean condition report. Yeah, you wanna do your pre-auction checks on it, so you wanna make sure it's okay, but it's got a big MOT on it, worth checking online just to see if it got any advisories on there. But it's a nice, clean 320i estate. Going at the right price. There's a nice little profit in that for someone. Looks clean, doesn't it? Your UK CGR uh, low mileage stuff is all less than 50,000 miles um, and they all should come with a V5, but you've just got to be a little bit careful. Just because it's low mileage doesn't, miss, doesn't mean it's mechanically sound. So make sure you check the condition report. And here's an example of one I've just spotted in the UK CGR low mileage. Just make sure you do check the assured report though, guys. These UK CGR stuff will come with an assured report, but look at this, tidy little course of stinger, yeah? Reasonably low mileage, looks really smart from the outside, but as we come up, it's in the UK CGR low miles, but we've got some oil coolant contamination. Really gonna make it a pain in the backside to sort out. Your UK CGR premium stock is normally always good stock. It's less than seven years old, less than 100,000 miles, and importantly, less than four keepers. So it's normally good retail stock. Mm -hmm. 
So I wanted to head back to the unit and just finish off this YouTube video with a couple of examples of cars I would personally buy from the UK CGR sale. Now, it's a great sale to get involved in if you're getting into the flipping car business. If you're looking to sell cars this year to make money on, the UK CGR one is a great place to cut your teeth. It's a great place to get started. So here's two examples of cheaper cars that I would have personally bought and I was going to bid on and they just went a touch over where I wanted to be. It was packed there. There was loads of people there today. No one celebrating Christmas at the car auctions. They were all down at the PCA auctions. They're spending time in fume-filled halls. What's going on? But they were there and they were busy and they were bidding. But your key to this game is set your top bid and stick to it. Both of the cars I was interested in, both went for just about, just a touch over, just a smidge over my top bid. I was more or less there, but 50 quid, probably too much on both of these cars, just made it a little bit unattractive for me to put my money into. But for people who are happy to make 500 quid, six, 700 quid, they were good cars, you would have bought them. But I was looking more for about a thousand pound on these cars. So they were looking to me like for the, the cost of them, they're only really cheap cars. I wanted to make stronger money. I wanted to give myself plenty of room in case I got back and there were issues with them. You just don't know. Leave yourself margin to make sure you can pay for repairs and make sure you can still make a profit. Let's have a look at the two that I found. Hey guys, I've spotted this XC90, it's a 2005, so it's a right old thing, but what it's got going for it is it's got 14 service stamps. It's also got an assured port, and all it says is that it requires a battery. It's got a little bit of MOT left, so let's have a look online and see what the MOT says. So the MOT history, that's got a few advisories and they may need doing this time round. So I looked at it and I circled all the things I liked about it and there was so much to like about it. I thought it was a really good one and I thought, well, look, I'd probably go up to 1450 on that one. I think that's probably about where you'd want to be. It's just a touch around cap average. You know what, I probably would have got another 100, 150, but it sold for 1750, which was cap clean. There was someone in the hall who liked it a touch more than I did. But they seem to retail between two and a half and three grand. You get your three grand for it, you've done really well. With those 14 service histories, you know what? I don't think that would have been a bad buy. And the last one I saw that I really liked the look of, and I would have gone up to about 26.50. Now in the haul, it sold for 26.50. So I would have had to go on that 27. I just thought to myself, right, hold back. I didn't know, I couldn't tell. Yeah, those bids were a little bit moody. I'd be interested to see if this one comes back up on the auction site over the next couple of days. 2650, this would be a nice little buy. S Max Titanium Auto, five main dealer services and a seven seater. So always good news. And I was gonna buy this for one of the people who I'm sourcing trade cars for. I thought there's probably a thousand pounds in it for him there. If I could get that, you know, if I could pick that up for 2650. I think that would have been a bit of a decent buy for the day. But it was bang on that money and someone else had that bid. And I didn't really want to push any higher than that. So I'm going to keep an eye, see if it comes back up again. You just don't know. Stuff like that, always a good seller. Seven seaters, big families need seven seats. So the UK CGR sale, it's a fantastic sale to get into if you're looking to buy and sell cars and make a bit of money. Now. I source other cars for people. If you're interested in me sourcing cars for you, all you've got to do is give me a budget and I will find you some trade price cars to sell on. Or why not go to the auction yourself and give it a shot? Remember, if you do use my service, obviously I've got a black card at the auctions. Because I buy so many cars, we get cheaper fees. So we can really help you get underway. And I've got the boys in the office who can also help you source cars. Remember, if you're a private customer, and you're looking for a car for the new year and it's for your personal use, then use my car auction buying service. will save you plenty of money. Remember my example from the last video? If you were to take £10,000 down to a franchise dealer, he will probably give you a car that cost him £8,000 because he needs to make his profit. If you come to move the £10,000, we're going to buy you a car worth, say, £12,000. 
because you're buying at trade price. All we do is charge a single fee. Now that's as simple as it is, nice and easy. Remember, please also check out my website, Win a Whip. We are gonna push that over the next sort of four to six weeks. Let's get this car won by someone. It needs to be won. I'm gonna stick some really exciting prizes on there as well now. Some Lamborghini trainers, a Lamborghini office chair, and a few Formula One goodies as well. So check it out over the next few days. I'm gonna add those on probably over the next sort of 24, 48 hours. So keep checking back. Once you've been there, keep checking back. And then remember, if you want to see the cars that are for sale at auction, check out flippingbuddy.co.uk. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment below. Give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe so you don't miss the next video. What I'm going to try and do, and I always try and commit to this, and it's always a struggle, is to do two videos each and every week. I shall do my best, but it's very time consuming. Great for business, but very time consuming. Look, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. It's free after all. And we'll be mates forever. Speak to you soon.